you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 9th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god they read from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 7 verses 1 to 13 Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe the washing of cups pots and bronze kettles so the pharisees and the scribes asked him why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders but eat with defiled hands he said to them isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites as it is written these people honors me with their lips but their hearts are far from me in vain do they worship me teaching human precepts as doctrines you abandon the commandment of god and the hold to human tradition then he said to them you have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of god in order to keep your traditions for moses it honor your father and your mother and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die but you say that if anyone tells father or mother whatever support you might have heard from me is carbon that is an offering to god then you no longer permit doing anything for your father or mother thus making void the word of god through your tradition that you have handed on and you do many things like this the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends a group of self righteous scribes and pharisees come up with jerusalem to observe jesus christ obviously word has reached jerusalem about what jesus has been doing up in galilee they immediately notice that uh, jesus and his disciples do not observe some of the traditions of the elders especially with regard to the washing of the hands before eating these traditions were a body of highly detailed but unwritten human laws which the scribes and the pharisees regarded as having the same binding force as the law of moses paul admits to having been a fanatical upholder of these traditions it is hard not to come to the conclusion that many of these observances were originally based on practical experience eating without washing one's hands would be a source of sickness although they knew nothing about germs or bacteria because sometimes it could be diseased eating pork made some people seriously sick so the meat was banned altogether but in order to ensure these hygienic requirements would be observed by were linked to a religious sanction violating them was not just bad for your health but a violation of god's will to ignore them was to disobey god clearly jesus was jesus was not against the washing hands or uh, as such even as a religious observance what he was against was the legalism by which the mere observance of some external actions was equated with being a devout lover of god he very clearly quotes the prophet isaiah these people honors me only with lip service while their hearts are far away yes the real commandments of god example unconditional love of the neighbor are neglected in favor of what are purely human traditions jesus illustrates the hypocrisy involved by showing how some supposedly devout people got around the basic responsibility of respect for parents yeah we sometimes meet catholics who confuse the essential service of god with some religious ruling they judge people by whether they eat fish on friday or not they piously go through all kinds of uh, devotional exercises but their conversion or conversation is full of gossip 
and the destruction criticism of others. There can be a bit of uh, the Pharisee in all of us, and that is the real subject of uh, the teaching today. We will only be judged by the depth of our love and nothing else. Amen. May God bless us.